Uh, welcome to the official IVU press conference after the women's pursuit here in Kontiolati. With us is the winner from Norway, Tyril Ekhoff. Congratulations, uh, it's the first podium this season. How does it feel to have finally made it? Uh, it's very nice uh, to hit some targets again, so uh, I'm very, very satisfied with that. So 20 out of 20 in a pursuit, I guess, is something that doesn't happen every day. So can you describe a little bit um, how it felt during the competition? Uh, today I, I was very focused, uh, tried to do my own race and not start too fast and just uh, go good on the skis and um, try to hit uh, one target at a time. Uh, I had a really, really shitty uh, uh, like shooting in, or uh, what you call it, like to shoot when this, you start zeroing and uh, I got some help from Siegfried and he helped me to to manage the shooting. Uh, generally the days here in Contiolati weren't so good for you and, and you say okay shooting was a problem there so tell us a little bit how did you recover from that really bad last weekend you had and, and now okay it was a bit better in the sprint <laughs> but yesterday the relay then was again not so good so what what happened then how did you come come back from that? Um, I had a really, really troubling start uh, because I think it's uh, really special to like do biathlon in pandemic times. Uh, I don't really uh, feel the joy with that, but uh, people home helped me to get my motivation back and I, I really need to say thanks to them because the, uh, they helped me to find the motivation. Mm -hmm. Speaking about motivation, today you put on the red bib because you won the, the, the globe, uh, the Pursuit Globe last season. Was that also a bit of a special motivation to know, hey, <laughs> I, I know how to do this actually? Uh, well, I didn't think so much about it, but uh, I'm very, very happy. I won with the same uh, number last year and uh, I won with it this year day as well. So I guess uh, eight is my lucky number. Congratulations again and thank you very much. Thank you. Second place went to Norway also. Congratulations, Marta. Thank um, you. you started in fourth position today. So yes. what was your strategy? Uh, I was really motivated before the start today uh, because yesterday was not a, such a good day for Norway. And uh, uh, the Swedish girl was really strong yesterday. And uh, I had uh, Elvira Öberg and Hanna right in front of me. And I was so motivated to, to catch them. <laughs> Were you maybe also a bit too motivated because you know the prone shooting went very well. Then after the prone, you caught up with with uh, Hanna on the on the third lap. Was that too much, or or was it the right strategy to do that? Um, I think my my shape in the track was uh, was good today, and uh, I had to do as much as I could out there. And I had uh, one mistake in the first uh, standing and one mistake in the second, so that's the only thing that I'm not so happy about, but uh, it was a good fight and uh, I was so happy for Tyril that she hit all the targets, that was really impressive and um, yeah, I'm not so happy about my shooting in the last standing, but uh, that's a part of the game. So as, as a team yesterday, it didn't go well in a relay. What happens in a team then? Do you sit together and talk about this or do you just uh, forget it and, and, and go on with the next competition? So what take us a little bit into this, this team situation after such a race. Uh, yesterday was, yeah, uh, it was so much that's, that's happened in our team. And, you know, that's biathlon. Uh, shit happens and uh, we just uh, forgot it and uh, look forward to the next races. Speaking about the next races, um, next uh, competition will be on Friday. So uh, are you looking forward to some days off and what, what will we, you be doing? Uh, tomorrow it's a uh, traveling day and we will go to Hoffilsen and it's just a new start and uh, new races and uh, look forward to the next uh, race. And um, um, yeah, uh, we will see. <laughs> I don't know what uh, I'm going to do yet. <laughs> we wish you all the best. Thank you Thank so you much. much. See Thank you very much. See you in and the third place uh, went to Hanna Oeberg. Congratulations, Hanna. Thank you. How, how do you see your performance today? Um, I, um, I enjoyed 
uh, going out first in the start. It was a new situation for me in the pursuit to, to start first of all. And uh, I got a really good start with a clean first shooting and uh, yeah, I felt I felt good. Uh, of course, I was I was very tired today. Uh, it has been some intense days here, here um, before. And uh, I think uh, today uh, it, it got to me uh, <laughs> a bit. And uh, I think mostly I was a little bit tired in the head. But um, with that in mind, I think I did a good race and I stayed on the podium. So I'm really happy with that. When, when did you feel that the fatigue, the tiredness kicked in? Was it already before the competition or was it on this uh, third loop where, where uh, Marte caught up with you? Where, uh, where, where did you feel it? No, I, I knew that today would be a lot about the shooting. Uh, I mean, it's a 2K loop. Of course, you can do something there, but the, with the, also the conditions on the range, the, the shooting would be really important today. So that was my main focus uh, before the competition. The, uh, and of course, my legs didn't feel perfect before the start, but I don't think any of the girls uh, feel perfect today. <laughs> so now you're leaving uh, Contiolati in the yellow bib, traveling in yellow to Hochfilzen. How does that feel and what does that mean to you? Uh, it feels really good. I had a, a perfect start of this season and uh, I'm really looking forward to a couple of days of rest <laughs> and good recovery before we start again in uh, Hochfilzen. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to continue, continue racing. Thank you very much and uh, all the best and see you in Hochfilzen. Thank, Thank you. you.